This is the Pro Audio Suite Podcast. Quick Bites. Welcome to another Quick Bite Pro Audio Suite. This one we're going live to Nam in Anaheim. And our man on the spot is George Widham. G'day, George. Hey, guys. How you doing? Hey, good. Sounds like you're having a good time. We are having a good time. It's it's a technical hurdle just doing something. It's what's seemingly simple is having a phone patch, as it were. While not spilling your champagne. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> My champagne. So would you bring me another champagne, please? Yes, I'll have some strawberries with that too, please. <laughs> yeah, yeah, lovely. Uh, <laughs> so uh, anyway. we're, actually, we're on Source Connect now via an Android phone. We are. And two connections, one from Sydney, one from Melbourne. You're sitting in the right. Grace Designs uh, booth. Is that correct? I am. In, I'm in the Grace Design Suite. And there's an, I'm on the lower level of their suite. No, it's, a suite? I'm, I'm in their booth. They have a double wide, as they do in Colorado. Yeah. they got a double wide yeah. booth. And uh, I'm looking at their, uh, their mic preamps that they, that they lovingly create and sell in Colorado. And also right in front of me is the key... Uh, studio monitors that they are. Are you the U.S. distributor? Yeah, we distribute in the U.S. Yes. The really, really high-end Dutch powered monitors. Mind-blowing studio monitors yeah, that really. look like bookshelf monitors, but they go flat down to 25. Yeah. Flat yeah. down to 25 hertz. All DSP controlled. 1,500 watts of amplification per speaker. Beautiful. And now, Evan, are you going to be talking to uh, Louis Kyoto about getting those in Australia? You know, we are just distributing them for key, which is, you know, German and Dutch. I th- I'm pretty sure they probably have Australian hi-fi distribution. Um, you know, I'm not sure. Maybe I, I don't know if they've talked to Lewis or not. I don't know if anybody has a relationship over there. But, it, we, you know, we're just, we're just tending to them in the U.S. Uh-huh. I thought you were manufacturing. Sorry, I misunderstood. No, sir. Just distributing them in the U.S. for the pro market. Because you do know, Evan, that... uh, Well, you don't know. I'm going to tell you now. But uh, the first proper preamp that I ever got, the first high-end preamp, was an M101 on the recommendation of Lewis. That's great. Lewis is awesome. Yeah. He's even better now. Yeah. (laughs) 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 So, George, what's happening at Wait, why is he better? What happened to him? (laughs) How did no, he I mean, improve? He's probably gone up now because I've just given him given him a big plug. <laughs> oh, good, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so what's happening at Nam, George? Well, we are trying with a group of three ragtag, uh, a ragtag band of three. We're trying to cover the show. Three people is not necessarily more efficient than two. I found out, but we're doing our best, um, and we're we've covered a few vendors today. It's been cool. Um, three, there's three guys and one phone. Three guys, one phone. <laughs> Sounds like a song. Like one lady. It's actually one lady, two guys, and one phone. We have uh, <laughs> a lady. That could be misconstrued very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Hello to our friends at Pornhub. <laughs> <laughs> and her big pink bag. Yeah, we're we're adding some color, some flavors, some female fun to our ragtag group. But it's we're trying to find new stuff. It's, it's a needle in a haystack sometimes. It's such a gigantic place. But the only way to do it is to wander the halls and see what comes up because you discover things that way. Um, Grace Design. Evan, what do you guys, what's your focus for the show today? Is it the whole product well, line or one thing in particular? I mean, our, you know, our big, our big you know, sort of long, slow-moving product release right now is a... Is a high channel count monitor controller for surround uh, work surround post-production film post-production you know for people who are having to retool to do Atmos so it's an Atmos Atmos friendly monitor controller Atmos yeah Yeah, which is up to 22.2 or something like that what our will do yeah 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 yeah. so ours that's 22.2 there was a big demand for this I hear there is, there is, because all the big streaming, net, you know, services are now adapting, you know, Atmos. Really? So wow. So there's going to be just loads of content, you know, having to have Atmos stream very quickly. And, uh, very quickly. Like it's being adapted 
quite rapidly. Yeah. So, so having a hardware piece of hardware that that makes that workflow possible, sort of in one box, is going to be really useful for us. The other things featured here are the, definitely the preamps. The one, the M108 is probably the thing that blows my dress up the highest because it's the most, you know, stuff you can pack into a single rack space. I think you can probably yeah. imagine. Yeah, and you you know, you voice guys, you love those black Grace Design preamps. Oh, so yeah. there's eight of them now in one big black box. <laughs> oh, yeah. If you're running a voiceover studio and you're tracking a bunch of animation voices e yep. for an ensemble, this thing is the bomb. Yeah. yeah. It really is quite an impressive piece of kit. If you're hearing some funny noises coming down the line, that's Andrew drooling on his microphone. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I hope you're using a dynamic mic that can handle moisture. <laughs> no, it's, it's an underwater mic. <laughs> but, uh, Evan, what's your, uh, who do you see as your main competition in the preamp area? Well, I mean, you know, for years and years, like we've sort of gone neck and neck with uh, Millennium, Me Millennium Media, um, who, you know, they're friends of ours. John LeGrew is an awesome designer and a great guy and uh you know but it, when it comes to sort of you know going head to head in this sort of high-end eight channel mic preamp world you know especially for people doing you know more sort of classical music concert music stuff like that you know it's always kind of been millennia or grace and you know we millennia they sell a lot of mic preamps um we sell a lot of mic preamps too, but they, they definitely have sort of cornered that market for a long time. Um, so I think I would say that they're a competitor, but it's also such a small industry that, you know, we don't, we don't necessarily worry about trying to like beat out competitors and just more worry about staying relevant with what we do and, and just, you know, making sure that, you know, we're, we're, we're discovering interesting niches for us and uh you know because we make we make you know quote unquote transparent mic pre's and that's about you know five percent of mic pre business most people want to buy a mic pre that makes them sound better or makes a thing sound warmer or fatter or whatever so the transparent sort of end of the pool is is much smaller so we've always we've always had to branch out into other things, monitoring, uh, instrument preamps for performance stuff like that. So, but yeah, I would say, yeah, Millennium Media has been a competitor, I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say Millennium, uh, uh, but uh, because you you both work in that really super clean preamp area, um, it was yeah. funny because when I uh, first spoke to Lewis, the thing that he set me up with because I said to him I wanted something that was so transparent, so flat that. You know, it was unaffected by anything, not coloured by anything. And uh, he said, okay, we'll buy a Microtech Gefell M930 and uh, a Grace Design M101. And then years later, I saw that come up on a forum as one of the, 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 uh, the top combinations of mic and pre you could get. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so did you say you had some uh, new new product for NAM? Um, yeah, I mean, the, really, the, the new product that we're pushing right now is, is, a, is a large surround sound monitor controller. It's hardcore. I mean, it's the kind of thing that it's for, if you've got a big yeah. mixing stage or maybe even a mix post-mix type place or film mix place. Yeah, for doing post-production for film in, for Atmos. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Up to 22.2 channels. Yeah. Wow. 24 channel monitor mixer <laughs> yeah so that's, that, that's really what we're pushing right now yeah mm -hmm. wow that's impressive. and honestly mo the monitoring for us is the biggest part of our business so playback yeah. so our stereo monitor controller and now the surround sound monitor controller and you guys dipped your toe a little bit into sort of the affordable audiophile market didn't you with like the that little headphone amp yeah. you guys are making yeah What's absolutely that called? that's called the M900 the M900 yeah, yeah. And yeah, sort of the baby brother of it. No, that's the baby. Well, oh, that is the baby. That's the, the M900 yeah. is the baby brother. We okay. used to have a slightly bigger ones, but those are all out of production because okay, that gotcha. this took it over. That kind of business went away. Gotcha. Yeah, uh -huh. sort of mid mid fi hi fi computer playback. Yeah. You know, DACs and headphone amps. Yeah. 
all that business just went down market so far that it's all right. just hundred, two hundred dollars into, yeah. <laughs> into the basement. That's Doesn't right. Work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not our, not our, not our core competency. Hey, you guys, I'm gonna have to tap out for one second. I have, I have a client. Yeah, Evan, oh, okay. Evan is actually here to try to yeah. make money, as strange yeah. as it sounds. <laughs> uh, uh, so I'll, we're going to we're right gonna let him go. Go to the client. And we're gonna, I'm going to hang out with you for a minute. Sitting next to me on my left is my partner in crime. You might know his voice. Hi. Mr. Dan Leonard. It's Dan again. How are you going, Dan? It is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> doing fine. Doing fine. How's things down under? Uh, well, actually, we're just saying about that. It's very warm. It's very warm here and um, yeah. If anyone's been watching the Australian Open on television, then you'll know how hot it is. <laughs> yes. Well, it's the middle of January, yeah, and it's beautiful. nice here. So so what have you seen, Dan, that's impressed yes. you at NAMM? Yeah. Uh, so far, it's all pretty much the same stuff. Uh, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, you know, there's, there's a couple of new microphones that came out. I was just talking to the guys at Vanguard. They have a mic that just came out. And... Uh, and you know, mostly acoustical stuff because I'm the guy that, when I really talk to people, I, I explain to them for your home voiceover studio, it's all about your acoustics. We saw, yeah, we've seen microphones. Always we see microphones. Uh, we got a good look at GIK Acoustics uh, acoustic treatment, which Dan and I always like to focus on acoustic stuff. Yeah, right. Because yeah. gear is sexy, mics are sexy, but a lot of people don't know the acoustics. Um, Studio Bricks, um, these guys make these incredible ISO booths in Barcelona. Not only did I see them here today, but I got to assemble one with them at Joe Cipriano's house yesterday, yep. which was a unique experience, actually having the owner of the company alongside you, basically running the show, in essence, you know? Yeah, yeah and, and I, I got to build one at WoboCon. Which was and you fun. built one of the Ovocon this year, yeah. Yeah. So Studio Bricks has been great. And then we saw our friends, uh, uh, Mike Goodman, or Michael Goodman at Mixer, uh, the creator of Mixer Face, that's Centrance. Yeah. Centrance. Uh, they have a new mono channel version of that little Mixer Face mic preamp mixer. So it's not really a mixer. No, it's, it's really the it's Mike just, Mark it's Port just, Pro it's, it's Two. A, it, yeah, it's a, a uh, an expanded Mike Port Pro. It's, uh, it's which just is a nice. really high quality mono mic preamp with built in battery that can run on an iPhone or an Android or right. Windows or Mac. Yeah, for all you traveling people that have to record while traveling, you yeah. poor suckers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I pity the fools. But, so that pretty much wraps up what we've seen today. We have a whole day tomorrow of coverage to do. So we do hope to discover some cool, cool stuff. Well, that sounds like a wrap from them, I'm guessing. So, uh, George, thanks for your time. Thank you, Dan. Nice to talk to you. That's George and Dan from the NAM Show in Anaheim, California. Signing off. Signing off. That was the Pro Audio Suite. If you have any questions or ideas for a show, let us know via our Facebook, the Pro Audio Suite Podcast. Yeah.